other options that do not require litigation or lawyers. Everybody is shaking their head here. I'll come to you, Jake. Yeah, I mean, I applaud the courage of this father for going on Tucker Carlson in Vermont. That can't be the most popular show in that state, but we've got to draw a line in the sand. We need more fathers standing up for their children like this man did and said, here and no further. I mean, it's amazing how in our society the Overton window has shifted so far to the left. When we were all kids, this wasn't even an issue 20, 25 years ago, but now it's a moderate or even center-right issue. I mean. We need fathers to say, before we can even take back territory, we've got to say right here and no further, I'm drawing a line in the sand, I'm protecting my children, and that's what this man did. Yeah, and it seems like um, they could have tried to find a common ground. Instead, they just dismissed the concerns, Tom. Just, that's it. They're legitimate concerns. All right, we want to be tolerant of everybody. We welcome people to be who they are and to be free to be who they are. I'm certainly a proponent of that. But this is an issue of young women feeling uncomfortable in their locker room in their bathroom and they have every right to feel that way and they have every right to express that what i want to know where are the feminists where is the me too movement because you talk all the time about how you want to protect women especially young women and you don't even want to hear this young woman say that she feels uncomfortable what happened to believe all women what happened to at least listen to their stories now they're telling you shut up or you're going to be suspended and then the school district saying we don't want them to go to litigation they need to go to litigation because we need a precedent to be set here this is not going to happen anymore thank goodness that this girl and her dad yeah. stood up because not everybody has the intestinal fortitude to do that the courage to do it and, and you know i think about we've had the debate over transgender bathrooms right even in a bathroom in most cases you're in a private stall you have a little privacy in a locker room you're taking your clothes off and you don't have privacy Amy. i have a teenage daughter i also have teenage boys it is hard to grow up in this day and age, not just with all the emotions that you have as a teenager, but when you start to put some of these tough topics in there, we don't teach kids to be able to have a voice either way on both sides and be able to voice what's going on with their own thoughts. We're gonna make things so much more complicated and we've gotta stand behind our kids when these things happen because they can't do it alone. This is, it's tough to be a teenager this, these days, this day and age and as a parent. Um, it, it's becoming more and more challenging, but you can't let down your guard for your kids. Yeah, this is a story I'm sure we'll be discussing. Y'all not tired of these boys walking in these girls' locker room talking about they feel like a woman today? Y'all not tired of that. But they shut me down if you say something about it. Wait a minute. So that First Amendment don't mean nothing, huh? That First Amendment don't mean nothing, huh? When it comes to these people and you voicing your opinion about a boy walking into a girl's locker room and watching them undress, saying that he feels like a woman to that. Man, it's not a sin. It's an abomination to God. You, you believe in God or not. It's your choice. They don't understand that.